Hey, good afternoon. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Anton Ray coming back at you with another video. And today we are going to do a video comparison of CZ P10F versus Beretta APX. Both full size. Yay, this is going to be fun. All right, so usually when I do my videos, um, I kind of break it down in categories. It's going to, you know, it's a little fun video to compare two guns. Um, I actually had a little more time uh, shooting um, the CZ. Uh, excellent, by the way, but we'll go into that here. Uh, first uh, category that I'm going to go into, though, is going to be ergos, ergonomics, okay? Um, and that's basically, you know, look and feel the gun. So basically, uh, the grip on this gun here is going to feel very good, which is a CZ. Uh, it's a long, long grip, like I you know, told you in a previous video. Uh, it has slide serrations on both front and back. Uh, it has a very, very nice grip. It actually feels good. Uh, the only complaint I have is that these little uh, beads here in the grip, after you know, a bit of time, it actually wears into your hand, and then when you pull your hand off, you'll know you have you know, some small impressions. Um, and it's not the end of the world. Um, you can always put some talent grip on here, uh, but that's pretty much my only complaint about the ergos of the gun and how it feels. But everything else feels great. Um, I like it. I like everything about it. Now uh, this feels awesome. <laughs> awesome in your hands, and the reason why is because of the grip. The grip is very aggressive. Uh, it also has the uh, finger grooves, which are not a big issue because it's not like the Glock but it had, you know, it's really thick and you could really barely wrap your hand around it because it was so thick. And the guns are clear before you say, hey, you took your finger off the trigger, uh, you know. Alright, so as far as grip is concerned, uh, this is definitely um, a better filling gun. Um, ergonomically, I like it. I like the uh, slide serrations on the top. Um, I like everything about it. It's a very nice uh, looking gun, but I know a lot of people do not like this, but you know, different strokes for different folks. Next subject, sight and sight picture. Okay, now something that I did not know about this gun, because I did very little research on this gun before I got it, my wife actually bought it for me. But the sights on here are actually excellent. It has a really good sight picture, and it actually comes with glow in the dark uh, sights out of the box, which I think is awesome. Okay. Um, the sight picture on here is uh, pretty nice as well. Um, both guns have steel targets, by the way. Again, Glock, step your game up. But um, both of them have good sight pictures, but I'll give the nod here um, to CZ because it actually has the illuminated glow-in-the-dark sights. Uh, accuracy. Um, in my opinion, um, the actual CZ is much more accurate uh, for some reason. I looked at my groups uh, between the CZ and the actual APX and the CZ was just much more accurate. I don't know if it was me or not, but you know, we'll see. We'll work on that grip. Um, but CZ is more accurate. I, you know, just you know, simply, I don't know if it's the trigger. I don't know if it's me, but it's more accurate. Uh, capacity. Um, you know, you're gonna the standard capacity for the APX is going to be 17 rounds, and the standard capacity for the CZF is going to be 19 rounds. So you're gonna have two more rounds. However, you can get the 21 round uh, magazine and you're good. And they also have an aftermarket 21 round magazine for the CZ. So they're pretty comparable, but out the box, CZ is going to give you more. However, it's going to be at the expense of the longer grip. Now, you got these two guns side to side, parallel, you know, as parallel as possible. Look at the grip. See, you have that much more grip, so you sacrifice that for the extra round. But that's not an issue for me. Uh, these are not carry guns. These are going to be either home defense or range uh, guns anyway. Um, takedown. Uh, the takedown um, is good. A lot of people complain about the uh, Beretta APX because you have to push this button in on the side and then you have to pull that down to get the slide. What I've done, I come up with a technique. I basically push the gun down on the table and pull the lever down and it works every time. That's the little secret I taught you so thank you thank I you know thank me already for that okay and the CZ is going to be you know similar to the block the Glock you pull these uh, two levers down here um, the mag release not the mag release I would say the slide release here and you pull them down and you pull the slide up a little bit and rack it off but I'm not going to show you how to break down a gun today that's not what we're doing we're just breaking it down on the basics here um, aftermarket accessories, um, that is where the APX is going to fall short. Um, they have a very, very, very limited 
aftermarket accessories uh, for the APX, which is a shame because this is a great gun. I enjoy this gun very, very much. Um, so CZ is going to win that. Uh, CZ has more, um, you know, different options as far as uh, holsters. I can find more holsters for the CZ. Um, you know, magazine options. So there's just more options for the CZ. Uh, Beretta, please give us some more uh, support with the APX. It is a great gun. I enjoy it. All right, so reliability. Um, I haven't had an issue with either. Not one stove pipe, not one jam. So I'm going to give that a tie in that actual category. Okay, so let's talk about the trigger. Uh, the trigger is where the CZ wins by a landslide. And I'm not trying to regurgitate what everyone else has said on the internet, but this trigger is sweet. Ha! Love it. Uh, the APX has a, a good trigger out of the box as well, but it's just not on the level of the CZ. It feels kind of spongy next to the CZ. And you don't have to shoot them both side by side to know what I'm actually talking about there. All right, so the trigger goes to the CZ. All right, uh, features. Um, I think I would give this one to the APX because the APX has that unique modular uh, chassis system that allows you to reconfigure the gun, change the color, uh, different strap colors, and all that stuff. So I'm going to say that the features out of the box, I'm definitely going to give uh, this to uh, the Beretta. And a Beretta APX was made as a modular gun because it was actually uh, in the trials for the new um, you know pistol for the military. So this is a truly modular gun, so that's one thing that's going to set them apart. So as far as features, um, I'm going to go ahead and give it to the EPX, but I do like the fact that the CZ does come with uh, glow-in-the-dark sights out of the box. I love that. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about something that's really not important, but we'll talk about it anyway here. Which gun has a sexier case? There's the CZ case, and there's the Beretta case. Let's look at them. Side by side, you guys vote. I am going to go with the CZ. Okay. Uh, basically, wanted to bring you guys something. Uh, just wanted to kind of, uh, you know, tell you a little bit about, you know, my experiences with the gun. I shot them both side by side. I um, enjoyed shooting them. Um, but if I had to choose one, sorry, APX, <laughs> you've been voted off. CZ for the win, baby. Have a great day. More content coming. Thank you.